Hi everybody. So today we're going to be doing a game called Memory. Some of you may remember this from our phys ed classes. We use this as a warm-up activity. So today this game is going to get you moving. You will need a deck of cards. Uh, you will need a starting position, which I'm using a bucket way down there. Uh, you may need a hula hoop or something to mark the spot where your cards will be. So to start off, you're going to take your deck of cards and you're going to split your cards up. You're going to find some of the pairs. You can see here that I have divided my deck up. I've got a pair of sevens, I've got a pair of threes, a pair of fours, and a pair of twos. Now you can have way more cards than this, but this is what I'm going to use for our example here. So you're going to take your cards, you need to shuffle them all up, and you're going to mix them all up within your hula hoop. So I don't know where any of those cards are, but they are here in my hula hoop, and they all have a matching pair. So I'm going to start off our activity, our memory game, by starting over at my bucket, the starting line there. Now before you start, you should choose a transport skill that you want to work on. So today I'm going to be working on hopping. So as I'm hopping, my hopping leg, I'm going to have my knee bent slightly. My non-hopping leg is going to be bent at 90 degrees. As I'm hopping, I'm going to be swinging my arms forward and my non-hopping leg will be swinging forward, helping me move forward as well. So I'm thinking about my proper technique when I am hopping back and forth between my hoop and my starting position. So I'm going to start at the starting position, I'm going to hop down here to the hoop and I get to pick up two cards, only two cards. If I get a pair, so if they are matching, I get to bring them back to my starting position and I try again. If they don't match, I need to try to remember what those cards were. Here's the memory uh, part. So I need to try to remember what the cards were, I need to hop back to my starting position and come all the way back here to the hoop before I can flip over another two cards. So my job is to try to continue going back and forth until I've collected all of the cards in my starting position. So here I go. Three, two, one. So I hop down to my hoop, I can pick up two cards. I've got a seven and a three. They don't match. I need to put them back right where I found them. Seven and a three. I'm going to try to remember and I'm going to hop back on my opposite leg. So I was right foot here. All right. First one's a three. Oh, I remember my other three was here. I've got a pair. I get to bring them back with me. Pick up two more. I've got a four and a two. I put them right back. All right. Oh, I've got a two. Let's see if I remember where that two was. There we go. I've got a pair. I get to bring them back. Seven and who let's see if I remember where the seven was. There it is. I've got a pair. I'm going back. All right. Down to two cards here. Got a four and a four. That was my last pair. I'll bring them back. All right. So I've now collected. All of my cards you can use more cards than I used here today I use the hopping skill today you can use running jumping hopping skipping galloping you could do something like a bear walk you could do a crab walk um, or any other type of movement that you would like while you're performing uh, while you're playing our game today so give it a try at home remember to use the proper technique with your transport skills this should get your heart rate up mine is right now I can uh, I, you may be able to tell that my breathing is a little bit heavier. That means that I'm working hard. Post the seesaw. Let me know how it's going in Google Classroom. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. All right, so a couple of cross-curricular pieces or modifications that you can make to the game of memory. So you'll notice that I was doing this one on my own. If you'd like a bit of a challenge, you could... Uh, time yourself to see how long it takes you to collect all of the cards that you're using. If you have more than one person, you could have two decks going and two people going at the same time. If you want to make it a little bit competitive, it could be a race between you and another person. It does not have to be competitive and it does not have to be a race though. 
we're in this to be moving. We, we know that that's so important. That is our main goal here is to get our bodies moving. Um, now, a cross-curricular piece, if you wanted to add some math in, what you could do is instead of looking for pairs, you could have, um, when you do create a sum of 10 or more, then you get to bring the two cards that created that sum of 10 or more back to the bucket. Um, you could add some multiplication in, where instead of having the cards flipped over, you could have the cards visible. So when you get to the hoop, for example, you could be looking for a certain product or a product that is larger than a certain number, whatever you happen to uh, want to use. So let's say if you're trying for a product greater than 25, you would need to find two numbers uh, that when you multiply them together, the product is greater than 25. So that would be a way that you can add some math into this activity here. Uh, I hope that's helpful. Have fun with this one. Thanks, everyone.